Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna discuss about a very common issue that uh, many are facing which is G++ is not recognized as an internal or external command. So in my previous videos I have showed you how to install MinGW compiler and if you correctly followed along with the video instruction you probably wouldn't have faced this issue. But if you haven't watched it yet, you may now click on the link at the top of this screen or the link from the description of this video to watch it or simply follow along with this video to solve the issue. So now the reason why uh, you are facing this issue is that your beam folder path of MinGW is not properly set on your environment variables. So if you go to your C drive, you will see uh, this MinGW folder. So open it and click on beam folder here. So this is the directory or pass uh, you need to set on the environment variables. Now if you type in cmd on this path to open command prompt and here type in uh, that same command g++ space dash dash version or gcc space dash dash version and hit enter you can clearly see that g++ is recognized and show you its version. But essentially if you open command prompt from your taskbar or desktop and type in the same command it will show you the same issue g++ not recognized as an internal or external command so to solve the issue we need to set the pause on the environment variable so that our entire system know it to do that first copy the pause of the beam folder of the compiler and simply go to your taskbar and type in environment click on edit environment variables environment variables here and on the system variables click on pass click on new and paste the pass that we copied now this step is done correctly and right after now the compiler is recognized throughout your system so click on ok ok then ok and let's now open command prompt from uh, the taskbar or desktop by typing in cmd and check it so type in g++ space dash dash version and hit enter. Now you can see that our compiler is correctly recognized. So you can now comfortably dive into your C or C++ coding comfortably. So this is simply how you can easily resolve the common issue of g++ not recognized as an internal or external command. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if the video helped you.